All right, I am ready to begin. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and today we are going to play with some drugstore products. These are not necessarily new products. I don't think any of them are new releases, but they are new to me and some of them I have just discovered while browsing and others I have been wanting to try for quite some time. Unlike my favorites video that had a way too long intro before getting started, today I am just gonna jump right in. It is way too late in the evening and I am filming with daylight, so <laughs> not the best solution, but what you gonna do? And if you so happen to like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the like button. I would really appreciate it since I am really enjoying starting filming again. Let's get started. So as I mentioned in my previous video, I recently got back to buying some makeup and one of them was only drugstore products. As we're starting with primer, I did get the e.l.f. primers. The ones I have here that I'm going to use today is the Hydrating Face Primer and the Poreless Face Primer. I did also get the Mineral Infused Face Primer, I think it's called. Yes. I have only like felt these on my hand. I haven't actually used them on my face. So this is the first time like actually using them. They smell kind of weird. It feels almost like a mattifying primer, like it has that silky touch to it. All right, the first one's done. Let's go in with a little bit of the poreless face primer, just in the T-zone. Almost like a... I don't know. I don't know if it smells like eucalyptus, but that's what I'm associating it with, but also like a wood cabin. So I did go wash off my hands just before moving on. It feels nice on your face, but on the hands it did get a little bit greasy. For foundation, I will be using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Soft Ivory. This is actually the only drugstore foundation that I own. I really like this one. And like I mentioned, like the only one that I've actually been able to shade match myself with, so. using a product that is completely new to me. I have seen it used in a lot of videos and it seems to be liked by a lot of people and so I thought it would be interesting to try out. Same with concealers as with foundations. I am terrible at shade matching so this might be too dark, too light, too pink, too yellow. I'm not sure yet. The one I'm going to be using is by the brand Revolution. It is their Conceal and Define Concealer. Full coverage conceal and contour. So let's open it up and see what we think. I don't usually use concealers that often because I find that it's not really necessary. I prefer like not a completely full coverage look. As you can see, this foundation that I'm using, it is buildable, but I prefer the more natural glowing kind of a look. So concealers are usually a little bit redundant, but for today, since I did buy it, and so we're gonna try it. Oh yeah, it is pink, <laughs> but we are going to make it work and see what happens. It might actually be kind of good for color correcting because I have, instead of like dark circles under the eye, I have like dark patches on either side of my mouth instead. So we're gonna see what this concealer does for those. It blends out really nice. That actually blends out really nice. 
really nicely. The darkness is there, it does cover up and it doesn't look too pink. be the most perfect shade match that I have found in a concealer because I tend to go way too light every time I buy foundation it's always too light that blends out really nice actually quite a good match with the foundation as well regarding color onto the lids as well since my Eyeshadow primer is not drugstore, so I'm not gonna be using that one today. So we're gonna be using the concealer instead. Just a little, little bit. So that is concealer and foundation done. When it comes to setting powder, I only have one that is drugstore, but it is like three or maybe four years old, so I'm not gonna be using that one. That one is the Infallible Pressed Powder from L'Oreal. I used to love that powder along with the foundation, the Infallible no it is not the infallible that i mean i mean the true match i used to absolutely love the true match foundation and i haven't used it in so long but i really want to get it again because it is one of the the best foundations that i've ever tried that i've been so happy with and that they actually have a shade that matched me like perfectly and this powder as well really really good but i think that this one might be too old I do want to set a little bit since I am using concealer today and for that I will be going in with the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder. This is in the shade Light. usually enjoy to go in with some kind of setting spray or face mist usually of the hydrating kind I do prefer the pixie hydrating milky mist or the lumine and nordic sea glow refreshing hydrating mist but since none of the mentioned above are of the drugstore variety I'm going to be going with a new purchase this is the milani make it last setting spray this is to prime, correct, and set. I don't think it's supposed to be hydrating per se, but who knows? It smells kind of perfumey. A little bit aggressive spray, but it is nicely separated as well. Could be a little softer though. For my next step, I will be going in with a bronzer. I don't do contour. I do sometimes, but I find it quite hard to differentiate the two, so I usually go with one or the other. So today, since I don't actually have like a good contouring shade from drugstore, I am going to be going in with an also new purchase, which is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is one of the products that I have been wanting to try out for many many years so you have seen it in this video and that video and everybody loves it so i got the lighter version of this bronzer i do wish that they would have a like a bit more cool tone i think this is somewhat cooler in tone than the original one but i don't know i just started liking like cool tones lately and i just I don't know, I just find that it looks better on me. Everyone says that they love the smell of it because it smells like coconut. I'm not a big fan of coconut, but I have tried it once already because I could not wait and I did enjoy it. I really did. So today we are going to be using it again.
using the Ohra Slim Brow Defining Pencil by Maybelline New York and I'm using the shade Deep Brown. done. I do really like this pencil a lot. I find it somewhat difficult to work with but I think that is because well, the only brow product that I have ever been using apart from a Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil that I don't really use anymore. I've only been using this and it's by, I don't know if it's the same brand as Essence is today. But it's called Essence of Beauty and it is like way old but it's still working like so good and it stays on without having to be set whatsoever. I've been using it for like, I don't know, my six, seven years probably and I love it a lot. I have no idea where I got it from, I don't know when or how or why. But it works so good and I am like so used to using this so everything else becomes difficult to work with. But I do really really enjoy this pencil a lot and I am practicing with it so yeah. So next up would be blush. I am however debating whether or not I will use it or not because I only have one Milani's drugstore, right? Maybe it isn't. Maybe it is. I think so. At least the prices are. I only have one blush and it is a Milani blush. It's their baked formula. This is in the shade Dolce Pink. It has gold flakes in it and I am really hesitant to put it on my face because it has gold flakes in it. But it is the only blush that is drugstore. Otherwise I have like a couple of Tarte blushes and one MAC and I already cheated with a powder so yeah I mean we could put on a little bit and just see what happens but I'm scared I'm scared of this blush it does absolutely nothing oh, maybe a little teeny tiny bit It gives like a glow, which I think it's good because I don't have an, any sort of ambient powder from drugstore and I do like my ambient powders. Oh, hmm. <laughs> it does show up more in the viewfinder than it does in real life, which is strange. It also looks kind of patchy in the viewfinder, which it doesn't in real life. Soften this line a little bit. That's better. Yeah, that's better. All right, so we'll call that done for the blush, done with the bronzer. What is next? Well, next would be highlighter. I don't have the highlighter right here. I'll be right back. For the highlighter, we will be using a L'Oreal True Match highlighter. I have been enjoying this one for also a really long time and I think it's I think it's like the first highlighter that I ever tried and yeah we're gonna go in with this one. I usually mix like this one right here with this one right here and it gives a really nice glow. Yeah I do like this a lot. I haven't been using it for quite a while but I do think like even when I started getting into other highlighters, I've always come back to this one because I like it so much. It is really pretty. A little bit on the cupid's bow. Just a little dust on the chin. I must say, I really do enjoy the concealer. It feels really nice. I mean, I have 
con the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in two different shades and I also have the True Match that those are like the three that I am using when I'm using. I do also have the uh, Born This Way Concealer, the Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced as well that I also really really enjoy. I mean that foundation, the Born This Way foundation, that is probably the best that I have tried. Which was actually shade matched, but then it wasn't anymore. <laughs> we are moving on to a little bit more setting spray. And so we have arrived to eyes. And once again, as I just discovered, I don't have any drugstore eye palettes. I mean, how do I not have that? I have Morphe and ColourPop. And I don't think either of them are drugstore per se, but they do have good prices, like drugstore prices. So I am going to be playing with either ColourPop or Morphe. I have not quite decided. I am torn between a palette that I cannot pronounce, Menage et Moi, maybe? Manage Moi by Colourpop. It looks really, really pretty. I recently got this one and I love the shades. So that is one option. My other option is by Morphe. It is their 18A Blue Ya Away palette. So there's a little bit difference in color and hue. I, I mean, I kind of want to go with this one. I do. I'm not going to go into the blues. Or maybe I mix a little bit of both. I'm not sure, but I think I am actually going to go with the Blue Eye Away palette by Morphe. Morphe, Morphe. So I'm gonna start in the crease with a Morphe M441 brush with the shade Applause. brush a Morphe M433 and going into the shade Swagger to really define the crease. missing my eye primer that I like really much. It's by Bare Minerals. I got it not too long ago, but it is so good. This one is looking really patchy in the corner. for now and I'm going to go in with a Morphe M166 into the shade Opening Act. It is the white shade in the palette. It has a little bit of a glow and we're going to put this basically all over the lid.
a angled brush this is the morphe m 158 brush and i'm going in with a shade so dazzling just to define the lash line a little bit actually I think well it may still look a little bit patchy but I did put a little bit of a liner over top not to make it stand out as much the white shadow has a little bit of a blue tint to it but expected with this very blue palette and what's next mascara is next and I am going to be using the essence what the fake mascara this is volumizing and lengthening. I have tried this on two different occasions and I do like it very much. day for mascara but I am gonna wait for this to dry and I'm gonna scrape it off I feel like a panda right now like here and I also got a lot of mascara up here but we're gonna solve it so I messed up I'm gonna have to do this which is sad So what I'm actually doing, I am actually going in with the True Match powder because it may be old, but it is gold and it does give me some kind of coverage instead of having to go over with a cream product. It's still kind of visible, but it's not as bad as it was. I think that is good enough. I'm just gonna go over again with a little bit of highlighter. And then we're also going to take a smaller brush. I am going in with the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH42 brush. This itty bitty little guy right here. And we're going to take the brightest in this palette and we're going to pop it right in the inner corner. Also going to put it on the brow bone. Yeah, that worked quite nice. Now I'm just going to fix up the lash line. I got a lot of mascara up there as well. And I'll be back with lips. So for lips, I'm going to use the Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner. I have really enjoyed this so far. I bought it along with most of the other products that I've been using. This is in the shade number 3, Unforgettable. lip that I'm going to be using today does not match my lip liner not very planned out <laughs> it is by L'Oreal it is their ultra matte liquid lipstick from the line Le Macaron <laughs> Macaron I think it's from that one it says it all on it this is in the shade infinite spice very nice though it looks more red in my viewfinder than it actually is it is more of a it is kind of red but it is darker than it looks like <laughs> I am going to let this dry down a little bit then we're gonna go in with 
a nice gloss also by essence i bought these for little juicy bomb glosses and i love these a lot they are super super nice and very high shine there are four of them at least that was available on the website that i purchased them there is the number one proud pattaya there is the number two lovely raspberry number three is sweet peach and number four is crazy cherry i'm not sure which one to use i think i will go in with the lovely raspberry actually So that was it for this video. I really enjoyed playing with some new makeup. I do feel like I need to explore the drugstore makeup that is available a bit more because I don't have as much as I think I do. I really, really... I don't know about the primers yet. They do feel nice. I do feel a little bit dry, but I didn't go in with my Aqua Pure by Biotherm before that I usually do since it is not drugstore. I probably should use it since that is how I usually do my makeup, but I just forgot and it said the primer was hydrating. I don't think it's quite hydrating enough for me, but so far so good. A little bit dry, but not too bad. I really, really enjoy the concealer actually. <laughs> I've done my makeup surprisingly fast today and so far it has not creased. It feels really nice. I don't feel like usually I feel like I have concealer on if I put it under my eyes and today I don't really quite feel that and the shade which initially was quite pink it does not look pink on the skin now which I really do enjoy what else? the eyebrows I like the pencil it's not as bold as what I usually do well I don't usually do my eyebrows bold either way but it's a little bit more it's not as warm tone as what I usually do so I think there's the biggest difference. As for the highlighter, I've had it for a long time. I like it a lot and I'm probably gonna keep using it. I haven't used it for some time, but I feel like I might have found my way back to it now that I was actually forced to pick up. Now that I was kind of forced to pick out more drugstore products. The blush, you don't see the gold flakes as much as you do when you swatch it, which is good, but it also doesn't feel like it gives you much of that actual blush it just feels like you get a little bit of a glow like you would get from an ambient powder eyeshadow palette i have been using this one once before again i'm not sure if morphe would be considered a drugstore kind of makeup line but since the prices are very reasonable and i really like morphe products i decided to go with it and i do really enjoy this makeup look a bit more cool tone like I said earlier, that I have really been enjoying the more cool tone products as both in foundations, in eyeshadows, in bronzers, even in lips. I don't have... I have like maybe one lip product that is cool tone and it would not be suitable for this and also it is not drugstore so I was not using it today. But especially eyeshadow. I've really been enjoying more cool tone eyeshadow and we are going to play with this guy the Stone Cold Fox palette by Colourpop in an upcoming video and I'm really excited for that one we're going to be trying out a lot of Colourpop products yeah, so stay tuned for that it's setting spray from Milani Make It Last I, I have been using it at work one day it did hold up really well my work is like a really good place to test makeup and the longevity of products so I like that one it is not, I would like to like pair it with the Milky Mist for example, just to give that little bit of extra hydration boost. But for what it is, it is really good. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I am finally back at it and I really enjoy it. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I am going to go. My daylight has faded and the lighting is probably horrible right about now. <laughs> Uh, also, the sound may not be the best because this room is not furnished. I have one carpet and one plant and that's it. I've, well, not recently moved, but since we can't go anywhere and IKEA has not what I want in stock. So this, my makeup room, my home office has not yet been furnished properly. I did just recently fix up my makeup station a little bit so that I could really get back into it. So yeah, that's it. 
Uh, thank you so much for hanging out and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!